Once installed, you'll notice the addition of a Web Maps for WordPress option under your Settings menu. This is where you'll go to do the initial setup and configuration for the plugin. Under General Settings, you'll find an area where you can specify the primary ArcGIS online organization that you wish to interact with through the plugin. In this case, we're using our GeoJob organization. Under Account Settings, you can specify an ArcGIS online username. At the 1.0 release of the plugin, we are not taking advantage of this setting. Under the Advanced Content Tree Widget Settings, you can set information that's used when configuring multiple instances of the Content Tree Widget. In addition, you can control open content behavior for your users. If enabled, users are able to actually interact with items that are showcased through the Content Tree Widget and open them in the appropriate viewer. If disabled, users are just able to view information that's associated with your item that's being showcased through the widget. Once configured, you're able to take advantage of additional capabilities exposed through the plugin. Let's now take a look at the Add Map button. The Add Map button allows users to easily search, discover, and embed web maps within their pages and posts. When clicking the Add Map button, it's initially populated with publicly accessible web maps within the primary organization. If you're interested in embedding a web map that's outside of your organization, you can use the Search ArcGIS Online option. After passing in the search parameter, it pulls back various search results. When you've found the web map that you're interested in, you can click on it to see additional details. On this page, we can see the owner of the map, the description, the average rating, as well as have a preview of the web map that's fully interactive. Advanced formatting allows us to specify the size of the embedded web map, as well as enable additional features that will be accessible to the user. In this case, I'll enable the Show Location Search, Show Legend, and Show Base Map Selector options. Let's go ahead and confirm these settings and then insert this web map. I'm now going to save this post and preview the post. As you can see, the final product is an embedded web map that's fully interactive. Users can zoom in and zoom out. Click on features to see pop-ups that have been config configured by the author of the web map. Open the legend. Change the base map. Or search for an address or place. If a user is interested in interacting with this web map within a larger application, they can click the View Larger Map option to open this web map in the ArcGIS Online Map Viewer. Let's now take a look at the Content Tree widget. The Content Tree widget allows users to showcase ArcGIS Online groups and items on a single WordPress page. Here we're logged into the GeoJob ArcGIS Online organization, and I'm looking at my groups filtered by the search tag WordPress you'll see that three groups have been returned, all of which contain items. Let's now take a look at the WordPress side. On the left here, you'll see the Content Tree widget. You'll see that there are the same three groups that we just viewed inside ArcGIS Online. By clicking on a group, you can actually view the items that have been shared with that group. This is what we refer to as the Item Summary page. This is where you get a snippet of information about each item, including the thumbnail image, the title, a bit of the summary, as well as ownership information. If you're interested in seeing more details about a specific item, you can click on the title. From the item details page, you can see additional detailed information about this specific item. Keep in mind that all of this information is being powered by ArcGIS Online and content that's being managed inside that system. 
If the user is interested in, in interacting further with this specific item, they can click the Open Content button. In this case, we're looking at a hosted feature service. The Content Tree widget is smart enough to know how to interact with the item based on the item type. In this case, it knows to open a hosted feature service inside the ArcGIS.com map viewer. Let's now go back and look at some different item types. We'll see here that we have a shapefile of LA County 2010 Tiger Roads. If you're using WordPress to showcase data that users can discover and download, then the Content Tree widget is a perfect fit. From the Item Details page, users can open this content, but since it's a shapefile, it'll trigger the download of this item. Let's now take a look at the back-end configuration for this widget. From the Widgets area, you'll see that we have the ArcGIS Online Content Tree widget here. This is where we can set the title of the widget, specify the filter settings. In this case, we were filtering by a specific tag, and the tag being WordPress. If you'd like to filter using different criteria, you can select Featured Content Group, all public groups within the primary organization, or just a specific group that you specify. You'll see that if we select group, we're actually presented with all public groups within the primary organization. In addition, you can choose to show display advanced options. This means that users can actually choose to interact with the item by opening it in the appropriate way, as we just showed with that hosted feature service and with the shapefile. The Content Slider widget allows users to showcase multiple items on a single page. Users can manually cycle through items, or if enabled, items will automatically rotate as seen here. The name of the item is shown below the item thumbnail image. On Hover, you'll see a snippet of the summary to learn more about the showcased item. If the user wishes to interact with the item, they simply click on it. Now let's go take a look at the configuration settings for this widget. Back here you'll see under the widgets menu that we're able to specify additional configuration settings for the content slider widget. Here we can specify the title that's shown above the widget. We can specify the filter type. In this case we're filtering on a group and have selected a specific group. In addition to these options, though, you'll see that we can specify a featured content group that's been configured for the primary organization. We can use all public maps within the primary organization. As you've seen here, we can specify a specific group, and this pop drop down is populated with all public groups within the primary organization. Or we can use a search tag and specify a search parameter. In addition to filtering capabilities, we can enable show details on hover, we can enable auto rotate, and then we can enable show nav arrows. It's important to note that multiple instances of the content tree widget can be configured within your WordPress site. This allows users to showcase different content coming from different groups on different WordPress pages. For more information on the Web Maps for WordPress plugin, please visit our website at www.geo-job.com forward slash WP.